of a defender like JT Giles Harris in pregame. I spoke to John Donowski and he said they will put the National Defender of the Year, JT Giles Harris, on Jared Bernhardt. JT Giles Harris, another elite football player in high school. He's got great footwork and he's strong as an ox. This is the matchup that I've waited all season long for. Gonna come together and say you're just gonna go to your positions. Goalies will stay. We're just waiting for zero. Man, congratulations on getting here and good luck. Uncertainty of the season, dealing with testing and protocols, right, uneven schedules. No, 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 cross, please. Go, <laughs> go your spot. Do it and now. Suddenly right. you can't <laughs> shake. Or right, apparently you can. <laughs> You're already there, my spot. <laughs> Times are changing, and thankfully so. Since 2011, this is the fourth semifinal meeting between Maryland and Duke. The Terps, a former ACC member, three ACC teams got to championship weekend, and John Tillman on the right, his Terps, like Diane, returning to cheers for the finale. John Donowski, three national titles. Nobody has more Division I wins than the Duke head coach. Jake Naso, the face-off man for Duke, having one of the best freshman seasons by a face-off man in history. Justin Shockey at Maryland. Face-offs have been an issue for Maryland, Quint, but in their quarterfinal win against Notre Dame, they won the key face-offs down the stretch. Shockey wins the opener for the Terps. A Maryland team that played a Big Ten only schedule until the NCAA tournament. Dispatched to Vermont really didn't exist. The blue in the middle is the missing piece. Today, they can solve it. That equates to your workouts, Kark. A lot of upper body, a lot of calves, not much core in the middle. Adler retreats to the cage. Bernhardt top side and a score. One in red hat. Terps do a terrific job matching feet on the ride. Okay, that is finding bodies basically in, in a zone coverage and covering. JT Giles Harris, he's forced to throw that ball to a man who's covered. It gets away from him at the other end. Unleash the rocket ship. First step. Too fast, top side. That's where he's been dominating matchups. Rarely does he have to use his rollback because he gets his feet and his hands. Never give up. Deal with the fakes. Williams again finds the back of the net. Dyson Williams was to point blank range. Kyle Long pings the post. Blue Devils forks up to catch a break. Watch this. Doesn't get any better than that. Unbelievable. Adler gives him the juice. Williams does what he does so well. Closes the deal. We got another one in East Hartford. All tied up. Sandy, Utah. How long? Up! Wisnowskis and DeMeo play catch. Bernhardt, he's got two. 65. Blue Devils have an opportunity. O'Neal, he's got a three on two. Pass off the mark and grill. Scoops it up at the other end. One thing that we've just just loved about Jared Bernhardt's game this year, Clark, is his willingness to play without the ball. When you talk to John Tillman, he'll tell you Jared might be their best off-ball player. We've seen him multiple times on tape throughout the 
for Maryland to the challenge this week, recovery. John Tillman said it took his team three, four days to recover after the showdown with Notre Dame. Good look here by DeMeo. Tony time. Notre Dame out in South Bend on the road, dug deep. This time sets his feet and finds that far pipe on Adler. The exclamation point is an eight-yard shot with no defender in your face. The ISO of Adler shows he has no chance. The reflex is just not that quick. But it all spelling of Foxborough, Massachusetts. Ends in an O or a O-U-G-H. According to Jess, our content associate, who's done a fantastic job, O-R-O. O-R-O. O-R. O-U-G-H. Brennan O'Neill on the doorstep cashes in. Tillman looking at the autopsy report from this goal. The damage report says loose ball on the ground, over pursued by a bunch of red jerseys. O'Neill is a horse. The freshman. 6'2 or 6'3. Look at those legs. 230 pounds much faster than advertised. New 80 second to shot clock. Bernhardt, a hat trick for Bernhardt. He's got three in gallery. They're getting all the looks that they want. He's done it off the dodge, Quinn. He's done it in the inside game. And on his third of the half, he shows you some plant rip. Make They're not finding their groove in terms of initiating the Dodgers, right? Who is the guy that's going to break their man down? Well, right there, How about Sowers? 23. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one other player in college lacrosse history that I've seen with the quickness, the electric feet. Like Michael Sowers, that's Mikey Powell, the great Syracuse sport time All-American and National Attackman of the Year for four straight years. Michael Sowers has that in his game. In a fraction of a second. Fairman. Over to Kyle Long. DeMeo has it cut in this mouskis. You can set that to music. His offense has been humming all season. Long. Down the wing was Nauskas, who had cut left-handed across the middle of the formation. Continues his run behind the net and then in front. The defender's allowed in the crease, but for some reason decides to trail with Nauskas, who then has it. They've got the matchup. Bernhardt against the shorty. Help coming. Bernhardt plays it up top. Perfection. Griffin Brown, the Colgate trend. For Colgate, four goals spraying from downtown. When you have the attention of Bernhardt behind, you see all those white jerseys? If someone can find that passing lane, you will have time to set your feet, let it rip, and get it by Adler. Goal cam tells the story. 100%. Shockey wins the face-off. Accelerates into the attack box. Shoots on goal! And the Maryland bench explodes! Fourth. He's an avid whitewater kayaker. He's a good, good athlete who's evolved his game with the rule change, and he sniffs this one out. You don't give me the respect. 2011 National Championship. Bernhardt gets the pick. Feeding the crease. And Doug Bubba Fairman. All Terrapin. Everyone are next level and they're very different. The prior feed that he had on the Griffin Brown goal went right through the heart of the Duke defense. That one, he just felt the slide coming from inside. His head was up in a perfect spot feed. Offensive coordinator BC with Lowry, stride for stride. O'Neill did not have an angle. He's a lefty. Left hand three. 
McNaney to save, and that's been the other factor for Maryland. McNaney's playing his best game of the tourney. Puglisi the other way! This is an element that makes this sport so riveting. McNaney with a clean stop. Maryland breaks out. Puglisi sniffs it. They disrespect him. He's a defensive midfielder. Parting of the Red Sea. Wow. The slides. We come up on three and a half to play in this third quarter. It's been all terms. Winner to championship Monday. Hold it to the wing. Top shelf. Logan Wisnowski is stark. Don Campus at Maryland, the high wing lefty shooter. If you give him this kind of time, he will pick apart an opposing goalie. Look at the placement on the righty goalie. Top left. Six unanswered for Maryland. This one knocked down. Adler tried to recover it. It trickles in. Scoop and score from inside on the rebound. Watch number one. He's right in the middle of the slot area. Pick it up. Little trash. Quick wrist. Paul, his, Back of the net. His shooting has improved dramatically since his freshman year. His off-ball play, too. I mean, in 2017, when he was a second... 5%, you're doing something well. What? 93 points on the season. That ties Ray Altman's single-season school record. The Big Ten offensive player of the year has been a force that nobody's been able to slow down. Seven straight goals. Dyson Williams ends the long scoring drop for two. It's 11 to feet and jam it inside. It's Dyson Williams. He was an attackman as a freshman last year. He was Duke's leading scorer before the season was cut short. Move to midfield. Nakai Montgomery's vision. That has been the biggest growth pattern in 15 in White's game. But Dyson here. DeMeo, left-hand laser! And sting it! Look at this! Sound effects sold separately. The level change, the low release to the high. Malibur, the freshman. Yeah, there's Malibur. Anish, I think he'll be the guy behind. When Bernhardt leaves, Malibur will run the offense at X. Holden left-handed. The former... Always consistent under John Tillman. His ability to recruit. Guys like Eric Malibur. Learn the system. Learn from a great like Jared Bernhardt. And Holden catches that ball, feels the pressure, and in one motion spins. Maryland's been shooting lights out. Holden's got the left-handed rip. He almost scored 100. All 90 NCAA championships. Check, check, hold. It'll be a first-time champion. Either way. Jared Bernhardt, the punctuation. He sets the single-season points record. He has rewritten the Maryland record book. He has had at least five goals in every NCAA tournament game this year. Dealing with pressure, able to run away. Bernhardt and the Turks. The other thing, the middle of the field, a question mark for Virginia and their short stick deep middies. Could they get transition? Could they get loose balls? Today they did. But Maryland has those guys as well with Roman Puglisi and Alex Smith. So I think there's going to be tremendous. One of the most prolific scores in the history of the game. Tough ending. He's shown humility, respect. He's always been super polite with us, and the kid is a worker.
It's been fun to watch him play. Good news is now with pro lacrosse, we get to see him take take his exploits to the pro game where, where he, he will light up the scoreboard and be super fun to watch. For the sixth time under John Tillman, Maryland will play on Memorial Day. A dismantling and demolition of the team everyone thought was the team when the season began. Duke, the Terps.